to imprint the lines, we have to draw the lines and then project them onto the surface. To draw the lines, I will create a new sketch. And so I'll do my um, drawing on sketch as part of sketch 2. Go into the sketching tab, select line, and then I'll draw, make sure you see the C, which means now the cursor is coincident with the vertical axis. And then make sure you get the V, which means it's vertical. And then I see, see the C again. And it can be outside the circle. We'll trim it next. And to trim, go to Modify, Trim. And you can click on the region that's jutting out. Similarly over here, and that'll trim that out. And if you zoom into the inner circle using the right mouse button, let me zoom in a little bit more. I can trim that also. So, and then I need to create line bodies out of that sketch. So I go to Concept, Lines from Sketches, and this is from Sketch 2. So I can click anywhere on Sketch 2 and Apply, and it'll highlight Sketch 2 and then generate. And if I come down here, I see it's created two quote-unquote bodies, uh, line bodies. So this is one line body and this another line body. So to do the projection, I have to work with bodies. I can't do it with sketches, which is why we need to do the step. Let's do the projection. Go to Tools projection and it says edges on body which is what we want select the edges so I'll select that edge hold down the control button and select that edge and apply and target let me make sure I um, that the target is selected as the uh, surface and say apply and then say generate. Now if I turn off the sketch, okay, I see that I have, um, in fact, let's see, <clears throat> I have the surface body, that's a line body and the line body. So if I just, if I do hide all other bodies, that shows me my concentric circle, so the region between my cylinder and the outer boundary with the lines imprinted. This is what I want going forward into the solver. Um, so, and this, so what I'll do is I will suppress that and I'll suppress that. And this is my flow domain. Okay, so this is the domain in which I'm going to solve the conservation equations. And I and I to signal to the solver that this is a flow domain, I will set this to be fluid, because you can have regions of solid and and fluid, um, and fluent will basically solve the um, the uh, heat conduction equation, the solid which we don't want. So we want this region to be marked as fluid. That's all there is to creating the geometry.